plane. No one else see it. Well, fuck the cow out of the moment. <laughs> and made thrill. But very few guys played like you. I want to, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> Jim, underneath this ceiling, you've had many career defining moments, overtime games, crazy games, championship games. What are your favorites? Well, just at one point. Val, you do have a Big East team playing uh, at least for Friday and Sunday, I hope. Okay. Uh, we're so happy to be here. And we came here, the, I came here as I did back in the NIT days. You could see games the whole time through. And the, he's right about the smoke. You had to sit down lower, not necessarily see the game, but to see through the smoke. That's true. Sorry, I saw one of great games here, Digger Phelps coaching against Dean Smith, North Carolina versus Notre Dame. Incredible day. I still remember, because I always thought, unlike Art said, as a Bostonian, that Boston Garden was pretty special. And it was, you know, Holy Cross and some of the great teams up there in many years. But when I came here, when they used the word the mecca for college basketball, this was it, this has been it, and it will be it. It's an incredible, incredible place. And from a coaching standpoint, the first time, 1988, we came here, and you know, I came to Connecticut, and the school was not doing particularly well in basketball. I had joined the Big East and, and had to catch up with the Syracuse, the St. John's, and all the great schools and great programs. And we beat <coughs> BC, and then turned around and beat Ohio State for the United title. In Connecticut in 1988, that was important. They had parades, <laughs> we came back, it was unbelievable. Two years later, we got here and we beat Syracuse and St. John's on a, uh, excuse me, Syracuse and Georgetown on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday to win the Big East. And since that time, we've had incredible memories. I think I coach and I'm Cal, I'm not very good with numbers as Oscarism, but 60, 70 games here and, and, and won some championships here. I'm very glad about that. But, you know, the Allen Iverson versus Ray Allen game, one of the great games I've ever coached in. Certainly the uh, six overtime game was, 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 was okay. The end, it was a great game with, a, with not such a good ending. Everyone always said, you seemed upset you lost. I'm like Oscar, I thought you played to win. You know, it was a historic moment in retrospect, it was wonderful. An hour after that game, I wasn't using the word wonderful very much, as you can well imagine. Uh, and so many great moments, and, 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 and you know, my next last year of coaching, 19, 2011, we had a pretty good run here, five games, five days, with the incomparable Kimmel Walker in the Miracles. It was just an incredible, incredible deal. I think anybody who's ever played the game of basketball saw something in the great joy that that team played with. The joy of basketball. They didn't worry, they said, you're tired. We weren't being tired, we wanted to play. And, and, and we didn't think about numbers, or, all we thought about was winning. And, and to this place, I still remember John Condon, is that the name of the great announcer? Time out, time out. And there was magic in this building. There's magic. Even though I don't seem it, I'm a romantic. A romantic about the game, romantic about novels, romantic about movies and plays. And I love it. This is romantic. Madison Square Garden in basketball is a great romance. And plays being, and stories being told all the time. I'll never ever forget it. It's one of the most incredible things of my life. This is a place that needs college basketball, college basketball needs the garden. And I just, my memories are too many, and I, I know I'm going long, but I love this place, and I think we're gonna have an incredible weekend, especially if those Huskies uh, go on to Dallas. John, John, one quick thing. Mark Messier always told me that when he put his championship ring on, he sees a different movie. Tell me what movie you see when you look at that ring on your right hand. Well, it's a Hall of Fame ring, so. So what do you see? Uh, a lot of great players. Me, Coach Al, I just wanted to say one thing. Uh, when I was assigning officials for the Big East Conference, Jimmy wasn't a romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, I, I always straight that out with the fact that I came to win. <laughs> Excellent. In the uh, recent 